Hello everyone and in this video we are going to go over the async image view which is available in iOS 15 and Xcode 13. So make sure that you have already have Xcode 13 downloaded. The Xcode that I'm using is Xcode 13 beta uh, and we can start using async image. The whole idea be behind async image is that you can pass in a URL and then the async image view is going to be able to load that URL for you, meaning display an image. So the first thing obviously we need is some sort of a URL. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a URL of a movie poster, Batman. And now I can use the async image. You can see async image pops up. And it does have a lot of different overloads for initializing. You can see you can pass in the URL, scale, transaction, content, URL and content, URL itself. Uh, you do have to return something uh, if you want, I mean, based on the phases if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the simplest one. In this one, we have to pass in the URL. Luckily, we already have the URL, so I'm just going to pass in the URL. And over here, I'm going to look at or get an access to something called a phase. A phase is basically, there are different phases when you are downloading an image. Uh, one will be if the image is successful and the image exists and you are able to download it. That's great. The other one would be uh, if the image is currently being downloaded, but it is not downloaded yet. So it's being loaded at the moment, but it's not downloaded yet. And the third one, obviously, which we don't want, which sometimes can happen, is the error that it was failed to download the image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the image property in the face. And if it unwraps, it means that we already have the image, then we can just go ahead and, you know, return the image. And we're done. Else, if we have some sort of an error, and if this error is not equal to nil, then we can display something over here. Now, it is up to you what you want to display or what you want to return. So I'm just going to go ahead and say image. And we can use a system name. And the good thing is that we can always use the San Francisco symbols or FS symbols. And we can search for any symbol that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and search for exclamation mark, like a circle. And I can copy the name. And I can put it right there. All right. So if there is an error, maybe the image URL is wrong, then we are going to display the exclamation mark. Obviously, this is up to you. You can display a custom image. Maybe you have an image in the assets collection. You can display that. Now, this one is when the image is actually being loaded. So what do we want to display? Once again, this is up to you what you want to display. That is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up San Francisco symbols again. And, you know, I mean, for loading an image, we don't really have any loading state. So I'm just going to say photo and I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. But again, this is completely up to you. And that's pretty much it. That's the simplest way to start using a sync image. Now let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so right now you can see that it is giving us issue. So if I go ahead and run this, it always goes off this issue. And the reason for this is the URL might be incorrect. So let's go ahead and see how we can fix or get the same URL or the real URL. I think if we just remove the two, hopefully that would do it. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. And for a very split second, you can actually see this photo thing for a very split second. And the reason is that it depends on your network speed. If you are outside, if you're on a 3G network or really slow and you're using async image and start trying to download it, then you will be able to see the photo or whatever you're providing over here, uh, which is kind of like an in-between. It's not loaded and it's not an error. So we're kind of like an in-between scenario. And there we go. So it's pretty cool that in Xcode 13 and iOS 15 for Swift UI, the async image is now available. And now we can start using async images in our apps. 
Hey, if you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. The links to all of the courses will be right there in the description. You can check out my courses on Core Data in iOS, Ceph UI, Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a 24 hour course and I'm going to be adding more and more content as, as I learn more content, I'll add it. And you can see I have different courses on MVVM Design Pattern, RxSurf, Combine, ARKid, Flutter, a lot of different stuff. So check out the links in the YouTube description and thank you so much for your continuous support.